All right, welcome back to Everyday Rays. I've decided to make another video since I haven't made one in a while. Uh, so for a while, I've been wanting to know if I could run two pumps and uh, which way the pumps would would flow more fluid, either in series or uh, parallel. And uh, I was at the junkyard the other day and uh, I found this pump. I've already had this one. I made a, a, a video about this one already. So I bought this one and they're pretty much identical. So today I'm going to test a single pump, see how much it flows. Then I'm going to connect two pumps together in, uh, let's see, I'll, I'll, do seri in, I'll connect them in series. That means uh, the, the outlet of this pump, which is going to be first pump connected to this bucket, is going to be connected to the inlet of the second pump. And then I'm going to measure how much water two pumps in series are going to extract from this bucket, which is a 19 liter or a 5 gallon bucket, whichever. And then after that, I'm going to connect them in series. What that means is that both inlets are going to be connected to the bucket with the T, and then both outlets are going to be connected to a hose with the T. And then I'm going to run them parallel and see exactly how much they flow. And then I'll figure out which one flows the, uh, flows the most. So if you're watching this video, pause it and uh, comment to see, uh, comment to let me know which way you think is going to flow more fluid. Alright, that's enough talking. Let's get this party started. Alright, so I filled the uh, bucket full of water. So it's, uh, we're going to call it 19 liters. Uh, primed the, uh, the water pump with water. We've got 14.2 volts connected to the connector so let's go ahead and dig in the test I'm going to connect it connector to the water pump and uh, we're gonna see how long it takes for this single water pump to empty this whole bucket so let's get ready one two oh, well never mind this pump is pretty quiet and uh, it looks like it's flowing. It's flowing pretty good amount of uh, water through it. Almost done. And it stopped. All right. Alright, so now I'm going to go review the data and find out how many seconds it took to empty this bucket of water, which was approximately 19 liters, and then I'll give you the details. Alright, so it took uh, 70 seconds for this single pump to empty this 19 liter bucket. So I took uh, 19 liters divided by 70 seconds and multiplied by 60. Uh, I came up with 16.2 liters per minute. So this is how much a single Prius pump flows, approximately. These are not exact numbers since there's a little bit of water left in there. Uh, but I'm going to take that. So 
Next, I'm going to connect both water pumps in series and going to do the same test all over again. All right, so I've filled up the bucket full of water, approximately 19 liters. I've connected the first pump uh, outlet to the inlet of the second pump. I've connected them both. And let's see, we've got 14.3 volts, exactly. Just like in the first test, I've primed uh, both pumps. So now let's go ahead and start the test. I'm going to connect both pumps to the battery at the same time and then we're going to see exactly how long it takes for two pumps in series to empty the bucket. So let's get ready. One, two, three. Close. And stop. Uh, let me go ahead and review the data and I'll give you the numbers. Alright, so we took 53 seconds to empty this whole bucket with two pumps connected in series. So Take 19 divided by 53 times 60 would be 21 and a half liters per minute. So it's roughly 32% more flow with two pumps connected in series. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect them in parallel. And uh, I don't think they're going to flow as good as this, but I might be wrong. So what, only one way to find out. All right, so this is gonna be test number three for pumps connected in uh, uh, parallel. So we got inlet from the bucket full of water going into a T which it splits then goes into inlets of each pump this one and this one and then the outlets go into T and they combine together to go into the outlet that's going to go to the ground so uh, I put this outlet at the same elevation as the other ones to make the test as uh, as close as possible I've primed, I've primed the pumps already, and we have 14.3 volts. So the same voltage, pumps are connected. Let's get ready. One, two, and go. Ooh. It's flowing pretty good. It's flowing really good. Maybe in series is uh, the way to go. But we'll find out. And uh, getting close. Uh, 
and stop. All right, let me go review the data and uh, I'll have the results. All right, so the results are in for the pumps connected parallel. Uh, it took roughly uh, uh, one minute to empty 19 liter uh, bucket, which means the flow rate was uh, 19 liters per minute, which is, let's see, about 17% gain over just running a single pump, which is good, but it's way less than 32% gain when the pumps were connected in series. So if you're thinking that, uh, if you're thinking about running two pumps to get more flow uh, for your application, running pumps in uh, series is the way to go in my personal opinion. So, well, these are pretty good pumps, but I got something else for the next video. Look at this puppy. Look at this puppy. Now that's a this thing should flow double if not quadruple over these pumps. But I'll save that for another video. So thank you for watching and I'll see you later.